Hey guys, today we're looking at an introduction to something called alternate picking, which is a more economical picking motion for single string riffs and uh, lead lines. Lots of applications for this one. Let's get straight in for a close up and show you what it is. So for those of you that aren't aware, alternate picking is picking a single string with a down and then an up motion. Alternately, no matter what notes you are playing in the lead line or riff or any part of guitar playing. Now this can enable us to play an awful lot faster. For example, if I was to play the thickest E string, kind of as fast as I could, with just down picks alone, kind of that fast is, that's the speed that I can do. But with downs and ups, I can go an awful lot faster, at least twice as fast really, just because of the economy of motion. Now there are other styles of picking that we could look at, such as directional picking, where we pick in the direction of the next string that we're going to be playing. That can be very economical, but we're going to stick to alternate picking in this lesson and also look at an exercise which is fantastic for this style of playing and a few example riffs. So the first exercise we're going to look at is just picking each open string with a down and up motion eight times. After we've done that one string eight times, we're going to move down a string. Six, seven, eight, and so on and so forth, down to the thinnest string. Now as we do that, there's a few things that we want to be watching out for. Namely, picking single strings is more of a wrist motion than a forearm motion. Just to try and get that, it's similar to writing neat. You would have to rest your hand on the paper to be able to write as neat as you can. Very similar with single string picking. It is also really, really helpful to have the pick on the side of your first finger and then the thumb over the top. Uh, that creates this slight angle of the pick so that it runs over the strings more easily rather than hitting against them kind of like this. We want it to slide and glide over the strings like this. Next, as we move down a string, so we've picked this first, or string six, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we move down to the next string with a down pick. What we need to do is mute the string we've just come off with our thumb uh, as we go down and pick this note. So this stops any note bleeding out or any string bleeding out into the next one. When we pick the next string, our thumb sits on the string just here. And without this technique, every string will bleed out into the next. When we reach string one, and we come back on ourselves, we can use this a similar technique, but we're going to use the tips of our fingers. I'll just do four times. We do this with a down pick, but my first, um, my middle and uh, third finger just sit on that next string as the pick hits. So we don't mute and then go to the next string. It happens in one motion. And that is how, without my other hand muting, we can do this. For the exercise that is tabbed on the website, you can see the tab for and write up for all of this lesson just up here, uh, we're, go we're going for eight times. So this would be just as one final run through, but feel free to go at your own pace. This would go three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two. Muted with the thumb. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And of course, by the time we get to string one, our hand has had to move down with, with the string that, that we're playing all together. And in fact, the bottom part of our thumb can mute these thicker strings here. And then we will come back 
Let's go a little bit faster now just to, as an example. So that was just an example with just the picking hand to allow us to focus on that, but let's start to coordinate the two hands together and show you some example riffs that this will really help with. So what we're going to go for now is playing the open A string with a down and up pick, down, up. I'll show you with my hand here just so you can see both in the same shot, nice and close, but normally it would be over here of course. And uh, we're, the next note we're going to play is first finger at third fret. And then we go to the open string with an up pick. Now we're halfway through already, so this is a fairly simple riff, but when we start changing strings and uh, putting it into context, it does become a lot more difficult. So let me show you. Down, up on the A string, first finger on uh, the same string with a down pick, and then up is our first four notes. Then we do the same thing with the third finger at fifth fret on a down pick and then open and then third to open again with a down up. This gives us this riff. Again, fairly straightforward, but we're going to be swapping strings and hopefully getting this up to speed and really, really working on some technique as we build that speed. So let's just get this one more time. As an example, three, four. Down, up, first finger, open, third finger, open, first finger, open. Down, up, first finger, open, third finger, open, first finger, open. Now hopefully from me playing this riff, you can see how this is going to apply to other riffs that it's quite similar to. For example, a whole lot of Rosie. We're going to have that riff coming real soon on my channel within the next month or so. This third and fifth fret along with the A chord also gets used in a couple of other riffs that are on my channel already, such as Rock and Roll by Led Zeppelin. which we would have to do really with a, a down and up strumming pattern just to be a, a bit more economical with the picking. Uh, also Thunderstruck, and there has been a massive you know, request from a lot of you guys. And this is, would all be on the uh, B string. That alternate picking motion and the first and third finger. is working in exactly the same way as in this exercise, but we can do it in a more gradual manner to get your technique in place before we go for that riff. And also any blues riff, which is based on the, the kind of rock and roll pattern or the blues shuffle. You can do it faster and more economically. Now what we're going to do is put this into a 12 bar blues format. Now if you haven't seen my 12 bar blues video, click here to check that out. Uh, possibly after this lesson because I'm sure I'll be able to talk you through it. But this is how you can play hundreds of songs and get this kind of technique. So let's have a look at how to do that. So the 12 bar blues in A would mean that we would play the riff in A. Four times as a substitution of that standard blues shuffle or even just four, four bars of the A chord or, or the A power chord. So we would do this four times. Two. Three. Four. And then we would just do the same riff, but just down a string, which is the equivalent. This is the D string. It's like the equivalent of changing to the D chord in a 12 bar blues in A. This one would only need to happen twice. Second bar. And then we would return to the A for, the f um, for two more bars. 
That's one bar, second bar. Then we have two bars of the E in this format that we're going for, this, this way of playing a 12 bar blues. And two. And then we'd return to play the riff in A two final times like this. In total, that adds up to us playing 12 bars worth of music, which we can repeat for as long as possible in the same fashion as countless 12 bar blues songs um, in the key of A. You know, Johnny Be Good is based on a 12 bar blues for an example, but my best example of that in a song would be the Georgia Satellites. Keep your hands to yourself, that lesson is, is up here. Um, also on YouTube, I filmed that one now. But let me give you a full example of exactly what is tabbed on my website. Um, in the in the lesson notes just here and uh, feel free to work through this at your own pace But the goal is to be able to cycle it at least four times That's always my acid test to see whether you really have nailed a riff or a solo or anything Can you do it four times through without making any single note mistakes and with the rhythm being even and correct? So let me begin the example in two three four string muted the D and A thickest E finishing with two bars of the A If you were to cycle that riff or loop it, we would start again from that A so it would just cycle around another four rounds of the A and moving on from there as we have covered already. If we do get strings ringing out, when we come back up, you can mute them with the first finger like this. So as we play the thickest E string, the first finger can mute the A string. So we can use both hands to try and, you know, tame the beast which electric guitar can be, especially when you're on the Van Halen setting on your amplifier. But that is how to do alternate picking, which is a very economical picking motion, especially when we're staying on the same string a little bit. I highly advise checking out how to do the minor pentatonic with down and up picking, if you're not already. This would be the A minor pentatonic. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out the tab for this lesson on the website.